Hello guys, it's Cardboard Rhino and welcome to one more Play It Right video. Today I'm gonna teach you the game Anansi. Anansi from the folk tales is known to be a spider, a trickster and a keeper of stories. In this trick-taking game that is inspired by African folklore, you have to be smart about which tricks you're after. Each trick represents a story, but stories untold are not worth that much. So in this game, you have to match up your followers with your stories so to inspire them and gain the trickster's favor and a sweet bonus. So let's cut to the chase. Anansi is played over three rounds. To set up the game, you place the 36 follower cards with the uninspired side face up. This is the inspired, this is the uninspired face as a supply deck. Next to it, you place the trickster bonus cards, separated by values 2, 4 and 7. Then you place three trump cards randomly in a horizontal line face up, setting up the trump display. Last, you shuffle all story cards and place them face down in the center of the table. At the beginning of each round, you draw the top two cards and place them below the corresponding trump card. The rest of the cards are dealt to the players depending on the player count. I have set up a game for 4 players, so each player gets 10 cards in hand. The number of cards per player is also the number of tricks played in each round. The trump display informs you about which one is the current trump suit. It's always the suit with the most cards on display, or in case of a tie, the leftmost suit and, of course, it may change during the course of the game as more cards are added there. So how does it play? One of the players, the starting player, leads the trick. They choose any card from their hand to play face up on the table. Then, in clockwise order, each player either chooses a card to add to the trick or gains followers. To add a card to the trick, it must be of the same suit as the leading players or, if that's not possible, it has to be of a trump suit. And if that's still not possible, you play just any suit. Instead of playing a card, you can instead gain followers. You play a story card in front of you, horizontally, to indicate it's not part of the trick, and you take a number of followers equal to the followers icon on the card. You place them with the uninspired face up in front of you. One important note is that when you're leading a trick, you cannot gain followers. Also, in a three or four player game, only one player can gain followers per trick, and in a five player game, up to two players. When all players have played a card to the trick or have gained followers, then we resolve the trick. The rule is, if there are cards of a trump suit, the highest one wins the trick. Otherwise, the highest card of the lead suit wins it. The winning player takes the trick and places it face down in front of them as a story stack. Each trick you win makes a separate stack. Then the player or players who chose to gain followers instead, they add the card played to the trump display and this may change the trump suit of the next trick. The winner of the trick is now the new starting player. Also, at any point during a round, you may choose to inspire followers with a story. To do that, you flip a follower card in front of you to the inspired follower side and place it on top of your story stacks that don't have one already. Only one follower can be on each story stack. And here's where it gets interesting, as in this game, you need to balance your stories and your followers in the way I'll explain. When the round ends, as in when you resolve the trick in which players played their last card, players may again inspire followers and then we move on to the scoring of the round. If you have any followers that have not been inspired, so more follower cards than story stacks, then you don't get to score any of your followers. You put back all your follower cards to the supply. If you have inspired all your followers but have story stacks without a follower, you get to score your followers. You take your follower cards of this round, set them aside, and each one of these will be worth one point at the end of the game. If you achieved perfect balance, as in exactly as many followers as story stacks, then you score the followers as before, and you also receive one trickster bonus card. In the first round, you get a two-point trickster, in the second, four, and in the third, seven. 
And by the way, in the case you have no followers and no story stacks, then you still receive the trickster bonus. The game ends after the end of the third round and players count their scoring stacks. The player with the most points wins the game and in case of a tie, the winner is the player with the most followers. And this was Anansi. If you have any questions about the rules or about life, maybe you can ask me in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you also for subscribing. There's lots of new videos coming and I'll see you in the next one.